Hey, hey, it is feast time. Welcome. Today I'm being joined by Mega Brand 6100. And I'm Eric Sir 6. I think you guys know that already. Uh, anyhow, what do we have here today? Lots of good stuff, as usual. The vending machines are always promising and providing new stuff. What looks appetizing to you, Omega? Where do you want to start? I'm going to this one. That's the darkest fried chicken I think I've ever seen. Karage in Japanese. Yes. All right, let's do it. Boneless chicken. It's a standard in Japan, right? Yeah. Everywhere you go, it tastes a little bit different. All right, let's do it. Okay. Going in for the boneless fried chicken. It's not overdone. Yeah, it's pretty standard, pretty typical. Okay. Next up, I gotta have a salad. Got dark leafy greens, tomatoes, some eggs. There's some chicken breast too. And we got some dressing right here. Okay, let's do it. Chef salad. He starts with fried chicken. I start with a salad. Tasting some mushrooms. Love me some mushrooms in a salad. You too? Yeah, you served up yourself some mushrooms. I like these dark leafy greens. Tonight's type of vending machines are mostly bentos, I think, right? There's a, an emphasis on bentos and appetizers this evening. And seafood as well. I mean, all the time in Japan, you're going to get seafood. So you are next up, if you are ready. Go ahead and select away, Mega. This one? One of the bentos. It's salmon and seaweed. Over rice. Yeah. Yeah. It's got some pickled ginger. Looks like some egg and a chicken nugget. And I'm going to move on over here to the octopus appetizer. He's really hungry. That's why he's going for these main dishes. <laughs> I'm going to go for the appetizers. <laughs> so this octopus dish has mustard spinach in it and some other herbs and spices, I think, possibly. It looks like it's got a lot of neat stuff in it. Okay, going in. Oh, what is that taste? It's a basil. The salmon's so soft. Salmon's good, huh? It's pretty good. I like the octopus salad a lot. It's mellow, not spicy at all, really. Just the basil. I've got some nuts in it as well, too. This is a typical lunch serving here. Price for this is very reasonable. And I'm definitely going in for some of this soft salmon. If I can cut it. If I can cut it, it's soft. Definitely flavorful. Yeah, some rice. Which is covered in nodi seaweed. You got pickled ginger? How was that? Nice. Nice? Pickly? Pickly. <laughs> okay. You want to try the... Yeah. What are we going to call it? Octopus salad? Yeah, I was expecting just a more powerful taste. Like vinegar or something, but it's not at all. It's very mellow. Right? Mellow. No vinegar. Not typically, but often octopus is served in a vinegar dressing or sauce, and it's, it just takes over the flavor. And that is the kind of unidentified. Do you know what that is? It's uh, ahijo. Ahijo. Okay. And I think it's fish. So sardine, ahijo, Spanish dish. That should be a rich one from my experience with ahijo. Ooh, it smells buttery. A lot of things in here, huh? Some green beans, some sun-dried tomatoes. Looks like koniaku, too. Is that koniaku? What is that? Kikurage. Okay. It's a type of mushroom. Oh, that's right. Okay, mushrooms. Yeah. You're right. My eyesight's bad. Okay, going in. Oh, it is rich. I like the sauce. Yeah. Totally different than the octopus. Oh, I like the fish. Salty. That is tasty. I think that's my favorite so far. Next up... Some white shrimp. I'm not sure if I've ever had these before. I don't know if they're marinated or what, but they're raw. Raw little tiny shrimps. 
They're not that tiny. I've seen smaller, huh? Yeah. Oh, they got the whiskers too, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. They're very crunchy. Right? The, yeah. The shell is, it's a hard shell for such a tiny little shrimp. The taste is good, but <clears throat> right, the shell's hard. What do you think? The shell's too tough hard. To get, tough to get through the shell. Yeah. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, there's a lot in here, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, be careful how you swallow it. <laughs> so I believe it's your choice now. The salad? The salad. We have another chef salad, and this one is... It's chicken breast and cucumber, I think, and some kind of dressing. I think it's probably going to be a sesame dressing. I can see the sesame seeds in it. That is tasty. Oh, yeah. The main dish is the black curry. It's called black curry because, well, that's the color, obviously, and the smell. <laughs> What is that? It smells really meaty. All right, there's some kind of ground meat in here, right? Yeah. It smells like very kind of Western style, not Japanese style. Almost even a potato smell, maybe. I guess we're gonna eat this with the rice balls because these this didn't come with rice. And then we'll just take a bit of the curry and dress it on top, I guess. That'll work. Okay, let's do it. Black curry. And onigiri rice balls. All from a vending machine. How cool is that? Sweet. It's very sweet. Sweet, wasn't expecting that. Is that pork in there? I think it's pork, minced pork. Or maybe nasu eggplant. There's some spice though, too. Yeah, it's getting spicy. Sweet and spicy. Pretty thick. And fatty, too. There's a fatty meat in it. And there's something inside the rice ball, too. It's hard to tell with the curry. Yeah. And the rice ball is salted. Yeah. Yeah, you know, which is not typical. Yeah, I say they go together pretty well. All right, I think we have just about done all of the entrees. How about this one? Is it time? Oh, I forgot that one. That was one of the appetizers. That is... Sazai sea snail. Have you had sazai before? No, I haven't. I mean, it's this is such a tiny little portion. So even if you don't like it, no big deal. It's just it's just like fish jerky. Oh, it's tough. You really like jerky, isn't it? You wouldn't think that it was sea snail. I'm not really a big fan of the sea snail, but it tastes pretty good. Jerky style, dried like that. All right, chiffon cake. This came from the eggs vending machine. It's mostly made of eggs. Mostly made of eggs. Yeah. I guess we would, we would expect since it came from an eggs vending machine. And I would have bought the eggs too, but I didn't want to carry them home. The place that I went to was pretty far away and I was traveling by train. So I thought, oh, I'll probably break eggs. So went with the cake. That's a first, a big, large cake from a vending machine. So there you go. Get into it. Finger foods for me. It's very fluffy. And moist. Mm. And sweet. It doesn't need anything on it. Right? Yeah. It really doesn't. Mmm. It's perfect, just like it is. It's perfect. Wow. Mmm. Oh, that's good. So this is going to be the sweetest item for sure. And this is also a natural food, except that it's been candied. So what is this called in Japanese? It's called daigakuimo. A Japanese sweet potato in heavy glaze. Different than how they typically taste. It's sweeter. Sweeter? Yeah. Right? It's richer. Oh, and I just got a really sweet sweet potato. I mean, Japanese sweet potatoes, they're already sweet. And then if you're going to put like a sugary glaze on them, it's like a dessert. I mean, it is a dessert. Like candy. The texture is, it's, it's almost like pudding. 
Yeah. What? It's not like you're chewing into a potato. It's like you're eating pudding. Eat it with a spoon. Wow. That's amazing. I mean, I've had it before. We typically, the sweet potato is a bit more dry, right? Yeah. This is very moist. So definitely thumbs up on the two desserts, huh? Yeah. So I guess that is going to do it for this one, Mega. You care to rate the meal? Where, where are you going to go? What do you think on one to six of your Mega Head scale? I'm gonna give it four. He's going four out of six? Okay. I forgot to ask you what you liked the most. I like the salmon bento. Okay. Pretty standard. But the salmon was good, and that's a big chunk of salmon that you get, right? Typically yeah. with bentos like this, the fish portion size is very small, and this was like medium large. Yeah. Decent. Decent. Okay. Anything you didn't care for or was disgusting? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no. Oh, this one? Okay, yeah, the shrimp. The shrimp, that was, that was really hard to get through. I wasn't expecting the shells to be so tough. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, so four, he goes four. And for me, I think, what did I like the best? I think the, the ahijo I like the best. I like the, the richness of it. Fish was really good, it's, and it's well balanced. It's got a lot of vegetables in it as well, too. A lot of different items. Um, the karaage was pretty average to me, and there's this is a big portion of it. You get a lot, but a lot of times it's more juicy. This is kind of on the dry side, I would say. Yeah. So the chiffon cake was excellent. I mean, that that is banging. That is so <laughs> soft. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Best chiffon cake ever. I'm going to go five out of six. So, not quite a six today, but we'll keep looking. We'll keep finding these machines and eating new stuff. So, we want to thank you guys for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And as always, we look forward to reading those comments. Eric and Mega out.